Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 59, sequences, arithmetic sequences when you used to use the summation formula. If you find this uh, useful, please do like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and let's get into the maths. Okay, I had to include this question because I've got fond memories of this question. Um, I remember seeing a student in the exam try and write out all the numbers between 1 and 1,000, and then put them into his calculator. Uh, didn't get the answer right, not surprisingly. A simpler way of doing it is to use the summation formula, which is given in your formula booklet. And it is, the summation is equal to n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So if we are going, looking at the multiples of 3, between 3, uh, sorry, between 1 and 1,000, then there will be um, 333 of them. Because... 333 times 3 is 999, and of course you, there can't be any more under 1,000. And the difference between each term is 3, because their multiples are 3, they're 3 apart. And the first term is 3, because that's where we're starting. So let's just substitute it into the formula. So the sum all the way up to the 333rd term is 333 over 2. 2 times by 3 is the first term, plus 333 minus 1 times by 3 is the difference. So that just goes straight into your calculator. We start by doing uh, 333 over 2, open brackets, 2 times 3, plus, I'll just do 332 multiplied by 3. Close brackets. And that is 166833. Perfect. Okay, here's a really standard question. Um, it says the 25th term of the arithmetic sequence is 44.5. Well, you're going to have to use the nth term formula, which is the, um, uh, see the, the term in the nth position is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So using this information, the term in the 25th position is equal to the first term plus 25 minus 1 times by d. And we're told that this is equal to 44.5. So that's equal to a plus 24d. And that gives us one equation and then we get another bit of information whereby we will calculate a second equation. So this one is using the summation, and the summation formula is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So the first 30 terms, so we're looking for the summation up to 30, will be 30 over 2, 2 lots of a plus 30 minus 1 times by d. And we're told that that summation is 765. We get 30 over 2, which is 15. And we get 2a plus 29d. Great, so there's our second equation. Now, rather than expanding the brackets, I'm going to check to see if um, 765 divides 15. And it does, we get 51. So I can divide both sides by uh, 15. And I get 51 is equal to 2a plus 29. Okay, great. So there is our um, second equation. So we need to just solve these two simultaneously. So what I would do is I will double the blue one. Uh, 44.5 times 2 is 89 and that will be 2a plus 48d and I'll write the yellow one below and then the a's are lined up so I can subtract 89 minus 51 is 38 and uh, 48 minus 29 is equal to 19 so therefore that tells us that 38 divided by 19 is 2, 
So D is equal to 2. And then I can substitute back into, let's say, the blue one. So 44.5 is equal to A plus 24 times 2 is 48. So A is equal to 44.5 minus 48, which is minus 3.5. And then finally, it says find the 16th term of this arithmetic se sequence. Well, I'm going to use the nth term formula again, which is this one here. So A16 is equal to A, which is minus 3.5, plus N minus 1 is 16 minus 1, times by D, which is 2. So I do minus three point whoops minus three point five plus sixty minus one is fifteen times by two and I get twenty six point five. Perfect. Okay, next question is very similar to the last one, which just goes to show how common these questions are and what an important skill it is to be able to do these types of questions. Um, it says the tenth term of the arithmetic sequence is 66. So that tells me that 66 is equal to the first term plus n minus 1, which is 10 minus 1, which is 9, multiplied by the uh, difference. And then we have the summation of the first 20 terms is equal to this. So that tells me that this is equal to 20 over 2, 2a plus 20 minus 1, which is 19, D. So I've skipped a few steps here because this question is so similar to the question I've literally just done, but hopefully you can see how these formulas have been created. Now 20 over 2 is 10. I can divide both of these by 10, so I write 129 is equal to 2a plus 19d. I'll then double this equation and 66 times 2 is 132. So 132 is equal to 2a plus 18d. And then I will subtract one from the other. So I'll write this one. Um, I'll write this one below this one. And I'll subtract. And that will give me minus 3 is equal to 1d. So subbing back into one of these equations, I'll take this one up here. 66 is equal to a and 9 times minus 3 is minus 27. So a is equal to 66 plus 27 which is eight, uh, 93. Okay, great. Now that I've got um, D and I've got A, I can work out any term in the sequence. It's asking me to find the fifth term. So using the nth term uh, sequence, uh, which is uh, given as this, I'm looking for A5. So I need A, which is 93, plus 5 minus 1, which is 4, times by minus 3. So 93 plus 4 times minus 3 is 81. And that's our final answer. Okay, tricky question. We've got three algebraic terms, and they're consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. Prove the common difference of the sequence is 12. Okay, well, if they, are, if they do form an arithmetic sequence, then the gap between them uh, should be the same and it should be equal to D. So I can first write that D is equal to um, 8x plus 2 minus the term before it because that's how you'd work out the difference. You'd take the, um, uh, the larger term and then subtract it from the, the one before it. Okay, and we also know that D is equal to, um, is the same, the gap between the second and the third term. So if I take the third term and subtract it from the second term, I should also get uh, the difference. So 
let's simplify these. This is going to give me 6x. 2 minus 23 is minus 21. And over here, uh, 12x and then minus 54, I believe. Okay, great. So we've got two expressions for d, and that means that if they're both equal to the same thing, they must both be equal to each other. So I can write 6x minus 21 is equal to 12x uh, minus 54. Um, minusing 6x from both sides gives me this. Adding 54 to both sides gives me uh, this. And then dividing through by 6 gives me 11 over 2. So x is equal to 11 over 2. OK, well then let's work out what the common difference is. Um, so I've got two equations for the common difference, the yellow and the blue. Let's just use the yellow. So this should give me uh, 6 multiplied by the previous answer and then minus 21. 12, very good, excellent, and why not? Let's put it into the blue one as well, just to double, double check that we're all good. Uh, 12, open brackets, 11 over 2, close brackets, minus 54, equals 12, bosh. That is good. Okay, final tricky question alert. Um, the sum of the first 48 terms of a series is four times the sum of the first 36 of the series. Wowza. Okay, so it means that the summation uh, up to 48 is four times bigger than the first 36. So if I want them to be equal each other, then because this one is bigger, I'm going to have to times this one by 4 in order to make it equal to each other. OK, so let's um, use our formula, I guess. Um, we know our formula. It is uh, n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So all we know is n for each of these. So 48 over 2, uh, 2a plus, uh, let's just simplify that to 47, is equal to 4 times by 36 over 2, 2a plus 35, n minus 1, uh, multiplied by d. OK, next I'm going to um, simplify uh, these parts. So that will give me um, 24. And that will give me 72. And then I can divide both sides by 24 which will um, cancel that, and uh, 72 divided by 24 is 3. So I'll get just 3 right here. OK. Um, so we might be looking a bit stuck here, because we've got an equation which has two unknowns, um, and there's no way for me to solve it. But what I'll do is I'll carry on and we'll see where we get to. So this is going to give me 6a plus um, 35 times 3 is 105. Um, so let's, sub let's make it equal to 0 so we have them all on the same side. So take away 2a gives me 4a from 6a and take away um, 47 gives me 58. OK, and then I can um, divide both sides by 4. 
So I get 29 over 2. So a plus 29 over 2d is equal to 0. Which means that a is equal to minus 29 over 2d. Right, that surely is going to be useful. It then says find the sum of the first 30 terms of the series. So let's do that. The first 30 terms is the sum to 30, which using the formula will be 30 over 2, open brackets, 2a plus n minus 1 is 30 minus 1, so 29. Um, multiplied by D. Okay, so what I can do now is I can substitute my blue formula in. So I can replace um, the 2a with uh, 2 times that will be just minus 29d. So multiplying both sides by 2 gives me this. And then I can replace that 2a here with minus 29d. So I get minus 29d plus 29d in there. And of course, minus 29d plus 29d is 0. So we're doing 30 over 2, which is 15, times by 0. Which is going to give me 0. So my final answer is 0. That is a tricky, tricky question. If you found that useful, please do like the video and subscribe and check out the next uh, topic in the series will be the last one because this is 59 the last one is 60 let's do it see you there